Good night, viewers and sub. Welcome back to the channel. Man shot dead. 12 high powered weapons seized in Chelani. One man was shot and 13 firearms were seized by the police during an operation that is now on the way in the parish of Chelani. Information reaching the news center is that a team of officers, including members of the Area 2 Fugitive Apprehension Team, when the Flores Hall section of the parish on Thursday and at the end of the operation one man was fatally shot and the firearms including 10 rifles and two submachine guns were seized. The police said the seizure was made about 11.30 am. More details later as the news team continues to chop the story. So we hear at JNN News Channel will definitely bring you more updates. Woman L. Lata Scam Task Force carried a raid in St. James. One woman was being arrested by members of the Lata Scam Task Force in Cambridge, St. James. Reports are that a team of officers swooped down on a property and seized several lead sheets and other Lata Scamming Paranda. During the operation, a team of officers is still on the location, making a few more checks. Some of you as I'm a sub. This is what we want to see in other country. We want to see more intervention like these. We want to see where the police them a dig up some more place. Find some more machine. Yeah, man, my viewers. So we are giving one little piece of beachy stout thing right now. Beachy stout likely to be tread for the slap away of boat wives in one earring. Portland business man. Everton beachy stout McDonald was charged for the deaths of his wife's and his ex-wife could be tried for both matters at the same time. The prosecution made the relevation today when McDonald appeared in the court via video link. McDonald 67 is to return to court on May the 26th when the matter again him will again be mentioned. Meanwhile, the prosecution said the police at the cybercrime division needed a further four to six weeks as there was a delay from one telecommunication provider in releasing certain material. According to the prosecutor, there is nothing else outside outstanding. She is open. The trial date will be set at the next occasion. Meanwhile, the lawyer Earl Hamilton told the court today that he received disclosure last Thursday and described the file as voluminous with the prosecution intention to try both matters. Hamilton said he and his client need to have further talks relating to representing in both matters. Some of you as only think so I gotta reach that one here. You think he might get one 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 fifteen or one thirty five or one life we don't know. Leave in the comments down in the comment section. I hope you get a life sentence though. Because a brother here is dangerous youth. Look for the nice, nice wife the mother man have and the man take them out for a reason. The insurance? Come on, man. You have money more than that. But anyway, my viewers, check out the video here and we get back to it. Each zone is unique and as you know, a zone of special operations is designed to be a long-term security effort that creates the conditions for social intervention and development. Uh, when you look at this uh, particular zone in Westmoreland, there is a clear need for development. Some of it has already uh, started in the Russia area through JSIP. Uh, and they've been a partner with us in all the zones. There's a lot of work to be done in this zone. 
of this part of uh, Sablomar. And But the people are enthusiastic. I was here just before we put in a zone uh, late last year and the place was a whole lot tenser than it is now. Uh, you can see immediately, as soon as you, you get that security situation uh, under control, you see nat the natural uh, entrepreneurship and, and the natural ability of our people to open businesses and start getting back to life uh, as normal. Remember, this is one of the places besieged by guns, gunmen, and gangs. It's gang warfare that was playing out here. Uh, and so you get that cycle of killing. So this has interrupted it within the space that the zone is. Uh, and however, the rest of uh, Westmoreland still needs uh, to be policed. Uh, so it's not just put a zone in downtown South and you think that Westmoreland's all right, it is not. Well, I think the biggest success really when you go into a zone is how the people feel about their space, how they feel about uh, the police, uh, the military, uh, the JDF, of course, on all the zones is a big partner, the main partner, we do them together, it's a joint force, and that's a feature of it. And so it gives us a chance to get closer to uh, the people. And obviously from the police, we have our own intervention strategies. We're looking at uh, developing a couple of police youth clubs there's quite a bit of enthusiasm about that. And we partner with other agencies to provide opportunities for people. Mm -hmm. you know. At the same time, we're after the gunmen. We're after the guns. And we're after the gangs. We have the Kings Valley back in custody, part of that gang. And we're going to pursue that. So people have to choose, ultimately. You want to stay on the right side of things, where we can provide support to you, provide uh, opportunities with partners, or do you want to stay on the wrong side of things and be part of the people who are destroying the country? That's a choice. But when you when you go across that side, you'll be the subject of law enforcement effort. So the strategies that we use tend to be uh, universal across the country, but it's nuanced for the particular locale. Um, the divisional commander, area commander here, they have the, the plans that they have are unique to this space. So you have unique plans for Westmoreland mm -hmm. uh, that involve a number of strategies. Uh, and as you can see, the, the, there is definitely an anti gang effort that has been going on for a little while in Westmoreland uh, and it will continue. You know, so the other strategies you know for gun recovery obviously we use and gather a lot of intel through many sources and that has been assisting us to do what we're doing and we have some very uh, interesting cases here and some of them linked outside of of westmoreland obviously because the nature of these criminal networks with these gangs with these gunmen is that they they collude they they meet, they survey the internet, they do various things to make sure they can move around and do their criminal activities. We are aware of this. We are interrupting this. We are after them. So those people who are on the wanted list that we put out, who are from here, turn in yourself. We are getting this result because of these strategies. And more importantly, not just the strategy, but the strategy is how you scope and design it. It's really the work. And what you have is really dedicated police officers supported by really dedicated military personnel who are at this every day making the strategies that we come up with work. And in the background is really dedicated intelligence people who are gathering information, putting themselves at risk and other persons who make this whole work. So I'm confident yeah, that we, we can continue doing this. You know, and I, I see I see the effort from, from the members. You know, they are pushing. We are seeing pretty good levels of morale. What I see is persons who have who have bought into the mission. 
who are willing to extend themselves and push even though there are challenges and difficulties. And that is what we see. And, you know, I can say to them that from my own perspective and the, the, the work and the interaction and the lobbying that I've been doing, that things will get better. You know, there were some things that were kind of caused or slowed down because of COVID. Those roadblocks are being moved. So we'll be able to deal with some of these issues that have been plaguing us for a while. Particularly in South Lamar, we need to do a lot of investment in West Milan. We started a process in a small way. It's going to get bigger. And, you know, my, my view is that in a couple of years, the policing in West Milan would be something totally different. With the same people having much better resources, much better conditions of work. And, you know, hopefully by this new cycle, much better uh, emoluments and things.